what's the cause of real happiness? How does one realize a state where one really has a good feeling inside all the time? Well, there are two kinds of happiness. One is very worldly. It's getting all the things we want. And quite a few people in our rich part of the world actually get the material things they want, are well protected, have lots of benefit. But then old age, sickness and death comes, you know, which are not so pleasant, right? And finally one has to leave it all and go without. So this is like happiness, but it's not very lasting. Also the tax man comes, you know, the neighbor gets a bigger house, you know, all kinds of things happen. But there's also another kind of happiness that we can actually rely upon, trust, and which has deep meaning. And that's the one of knowing mind itself. That's where we are aware of the mirror behind the pictures, the ocean underneath the waves, where that which is looking through our eyes and listening through our ears right now is recognizing itself. This gives real happiness. And why? Because mind is like space. It's not a thing. It hasn't been made, born or created. It won't die, disappear and fall away again. Therefore, we become fearless. Looking from a level of fearlessness at all the great things happening everywhere, inside and outside, the feelings, the situations, everything, then joy is natural. It comes up just by itself. And finally, when we see that all beings want happiness and much of the time cause themselves trouble instead, we become compassionate. We want to work for them, help them and do something good for them. So discovering mind itself, mind seeing itself, awareness, knowing that which is between, behind and which knows the different things, you know, this is the source of real happiness. This is what we should wish everybody. And this is what Buddha 2450 years ago showed the world that can, it can be reached. Thank you.